Welcome to Data Driven Sports Betting. I'm A-Train Bets and I use my brain to make bets. In this video, we're going to talk about what data driven sports betting really means and why A-Train Station might be the way uh, that you'd be interested in doing it. So first off, the way most people bet is kind of like going to a shopping website, call it like Amazon.com. Go to Amazon.com and you're like, I like shoes. <laughs> I'm going to buy me some shoes and they go and look at shoes and then they're like i like those shoes and then they buy the shoes and that's how people do sports betting a lot of the time they see a team a player they like some points oh i think the bears are going to get under 35 points in their total game score today whatever it is right i think lebron james is going to score 73 points whatever it is right they have these ideas of things they like and things they don't like they have preferences and then they go and buy those preferences through sports bets with no regard whatsoever to the price of those things, because that's what odds are in sports betting. Odds in sports betting are the prices, and most people ignore the prices when they're doing sports betting. This is why you're expected to lose is because you're shopping with no price sensitivity, right? So first and foremost, at very minimum, data-driven sports betting is about saying, hey, those prices, those odds, those are important. You want to use those. And so this data-driven betting concept is really about helping you understand how to use those prices, how to select good bets that have a mathematical probability of winning beyond just saying, well, I like this bet. You know, the fact is, is that at the right price, I buy a lot of stuff, right? If you if you knew you could buy a TV on Amazon.com today for $100 and you could immediately sell it for $150, would that be a good bet? Would be, that be a good purchase? Yes, it would be because you like dollars. That's our fundamental assumption here is you like dollars and you want to use those dollars to get more dollars, right? Investment strategy. That's what data-driven sports betting is about. It's not about, we got to get the bets in, baby. We got to have that game. We're going to watch it and we're going to be like, yeah, yeah. No, that's not what this is about, right? What we're about <laughs> is thinking strategically about a game about a game of sports, but about a game of betting and investing and playing against those sports books and finding those little nuggets of opportunity, those needles and haystacks that will lead to good betting opportunities. That is what we're all about with A-Train Station. That's what we're all about with data-driven sports betting, right? A-Train Station, you want to think of it this way? There's a whole bunch of bets you can make. That's your haystack. There's some needles in there. Those are the good things. What A-Train Station is, is a big-ass magnet. <laughs> We are a big magnet that's going to suck those needles out and be like, here's some needles for you. Why don't you use these needles? These needles are a great thing, right? That's what data-driven betting is about. And that's what we're building with A-Train Station. That's why I want you to understand what this is, right? So fundamentally speaking, what we're going to do with data-driven sports betting is we're going to teach you how and give you the power to shop with prices in your sports betting. That is what we're doing. So stop betting your heart without regard for how much it costs. You need to understand, hey, I like Ferraris, but I can't afford a Ferrari. I can't buy a Ferrari. Don't put it on a credit card. Don't don't make that bet. <laughs> don't make that bet that you have no realistic expectation of being able to pay for. Go and use your head on these things. And we need software. We need to do that because this is where we are actually going to be looking at that haystack at all the bets available. And we're going to say, there's a few here that have prices that are too good, that our opportunity here is too good. That's worth 150. Why are they charging 100? Right. And so we're going to have a ton of videos coming out. We're going to have a ton of deep going through strategies, showing you the screens, doing everything. And that's where you're going to really learn how to use the tool. But I just want to give you a glimpse. I want to give you a glimpse into how we help you use the actual data of the market. We call the market like the collection of all the available bets that are out there. What we're going to do is we're going to help you understand how to find those needles with this software. We're like the Amazon deals page where you're like, show me some deals. That's what we do, right? We're better organized than the deals page. That deals page, man, you just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. No, no, no. We, we are very structured. We are very thoughtful in how we're doing this because we want you to get the bets, you know, we want to get you the best bets possible. We always talk about the next five minutes and next $5. What does that mean? 
That means what we're solving for at A-Train Station, what we're solving for is helping you use your next five minutes in the best way possible and to help you invest your next five dollars or more in the betting that you're doing in the best way possible. That's our goal. That's what we seek to do, to help you do. And so that's what we've built the software to do. So, so I want you to see this. We're going to bring this up. And all of this is, is a view into possible bets that you might want to make. So we've done some heavy lifting and said, okay, we've looked at all these bet markets or whatever, and there's some that are interesting, right? Just the, the, the software, the engine behind the scenes has said, you know, there's some things about these bet opportunities that look interesting. Now, we don't want you to just say, I'm going to go and play this and play it willy nilly and just bet everything that's on the screen. No, 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 no. Don't do that. What we want you to do is start to think critically about the opportunity at hand. And we can hit, you know, the big magnet of A-Train Station can pull out all these interesting needles. Not all of them are great needles. Some of them are rusty. Some of them are like, ah, that's not really a needle. Just look like a needle. Just, hey, just, hey, not really a needle. What you could do, though, is say, all right, this has, there's something interesting here. So let's look at this. Um, you know, here's a, a college basketball game. Let's look at this one. Weber State Wildcats and South Dakota State Jackrabbits, right? In this case, we see an opportunity where at DraftKings, they are offering a price on the Weber State, Weber State Wildcats, minus four and a half. They are offering a price at plus 100 that is pretty far removed from what most of them are offering on the same play. Right. So what, what the graphic here is, is a visual depiction of saying, hey, DraftKings has a line here, an opportunity for us to go bet. We can go bet at DraftKings plus 100, whereas all these other sports books in this particular bet market for this college basketball game, all of these other books are charging you much more. Because if you know how uh, American odds work, this means I have to bet $12 to win $10 right? That's two extra dollars. That's 20% more at Pinnacle. DraftKings like, it'll cost you $10 to win $10. That's great. <laughs> if you're going to play this, bet at DraftKings. Bottom line, for sure. If you're going to play Weber State Wildcats minus four and a half, it is objectively true. The best place to play that is DraftKings, as long as they'll take your bet, which sometimes they will. Sometimes they, they may not if you're limited there or whatever, but that's a, that's a video for another topic or topic for another video. But here at DraftKings, we know we're getting the best price. We've got out. We've gotten the prices from all these sports books. And we know for sure DraftKings is offering the best deal here. Great. All right. But what makes it a positive EV play, what makes it this 4% play is that there is one book in this list that we really trust, that we really trust about how they analyze and offer lines because they take a lot of action from betters like myself, sharp betters who are using data. They take a lot of bets from those folks and they let them bet a lot. So to do that successfully, they need to offer lines that are reflective of truth, right? And so at Pinnacle's line, they're offering minus 120 on the same Weber State Wildcats, but they're also offering plus 102 on the South Dakota State Jackrabbits, right? Well, if you do a little math, you could say, hey, well, I could actually bet $10 at DraftKings, and I could bet $10 at Pinnacle if I had an account at Pinnacle. And at Pinnacle, they'd pay me back $10.20 if this one. And at DraftKings, they'd pay me back $10 if this one. I'm guaranteed $0.20. Cents. Or if I balance it correctly, I'm guaranteed $0.20. Cents. You know, so that's pretty amazing that you can get a guaranteed return. That's what's called an arbitrage. And on our system, this is a purple. You can see this little purple here designates, hey, there's an arbitrage opportunity, which means you can play both sides of this and win money. Guaranteed. And a lot of people specialize in doing just that. That's a more advanced topic again. We'll cover that in another video. But it shows us that, hey, this line at DraftKings is probably wrong. <laughs> it is probably not mathematically accurate. It is definitely a good deal. It is definitely something that you're going to want to buy because you know the true market price of this is probably closer to these, right? So we know that it's clear. So what this number here is, this is a really important thing to, to note too. What this number here is, this 110, is that's what's called the no vig line. What that means is, is that if you were playing, if you were just going to bet with your friend, the odds that should be offered in this scenario should be minus 110.2. At DraftKings, 
we're getting better. So 100 plus 100 is better than a minus 110. And that minus 110 is definitely something that we're interested in playing, right? So that plus 100 is really good for us. And we are excited about doing it. So it'd be minus 110 on this side, plus 110 over here. There's no good plays on this side. That's why you see all these negative numbers. But on this side, you see a positive number, this green EV calculation. That means we're getting too good of a price. Most of the time, you don't have one. Most of the time, it's just negative, negative. And there's nothing in that haystack that's worthwhile, right? But in this case, we found this one little needle. Go bet Weber State Wildcats minus four and a half because the price is too good. The true odds should be minus 110. And they're not. And so that's where, because this is a favorite, and again, this is getting more complicated, but because this is a, a favorite, this is so far away, it should be minus 110 are the true odds. At plus 100, we're getting 10 points of value. And that's why you have a 4% calculation of saying, hey, this is about 4% better than it should be. You have a profit-making opportunity. And we could see that directly. If we played both sides of this, we would make money, right? So that is why we use data to shop. This is like going and buying that TV at Amazon and then selling it immediately for more. It's the same kind of deal, right? So we just have to wait and see how the game goes. But we know that mathematically, there's a better chance of this happening than what DraftKings is saying it is. So this is better than a coin flip. This is more likely to happen than not. DraftKings is saying it's 50-50. We're like, no, no, no. We think it's better than 50-50. And that's why we're going to bet on it. So in this case, really good example of how we can make money through the data. I don't know anything about South Dakota State Jackrabbits. I know they have a cute team name. That's about it. They're probably from South Dakota. Weber State Wildcats, I don't even know what state that is. Weber is not a state, I know that much, right? But I don't know anything about the teams. All I know is that by looking at this data, it tells me that there's an opportunity. And the reason we do it visually is because people are visual people. We use color codings. These are the hold percentages. These tell us how much vig or how much hold each of these books is taking based on the lines that they are offering. This no big line, we see a visual depiction of green where there's an EV, positive EV opportunity. We see purple where there's an arbitrage opportunity. We know that as you start to use this system, you will start to immediately be able to glance at this picture, immediately know what's going on, and then be able to act accordingly. Again, this comes back to that very core mission that I talked about. Next five minutes, next five dollars. We want you to be able to make these decisions and play this game, the betting game, as efficiently as possible. Because you're going to do this dozens of times a day. You're going to look at all these plays. You're going to play whatever the amount is based on your bankroll that you should be playing because it's it's based on what was called Kelly criteria. There's some things involved with that. We try to make it simple to get a, a bet estimate, but it will vary, right? But you do this a bunch of times, you have a little bit of an edge, all of a sudden you can make real money sports betting and not going off of your feelings that represent, you know, a piece of all of this information that's out in the world that the prices come from. It actually allows you to look at the prices and find real opportunities with a real edge that you can use in your sports betting successfully. It is so much better to bet this way than to simply use sports gossip and your feelings about things because that information is known in the market. So if you look up, if you're interested in learning more, learn, look up an efficient market hypothesis. That's what drives this kind of strategy of data-driven sports betting. And what we've been talking about is really a, what's called a top-down betting strategy. It's where you're looking at the market, you're looking at the whole, and then you're whittling it down to these opportunities. The classic way of betting where you're not paying as much attention to the prices is bottom-up. So bottom-up betting, you start with, I like this play, and then you go from there and make the play. Sometimes at minimum, all I like at minimum, I'm not saying you have to forget everything you know and like about sports betting. What I am saying though is at least look at the price. At least know, hey, when we're here, at least if you like this game, go bet at DraftKings. Get an account at DraftKings and bet there. That's going to be much better for your money. Because if you're so rich that you can go and sports bet without paying attention to prices, you shouldn't be sports betting for two reasons. One, you're too rich. You don't need any of the money. Two, that's insane because you shouldn't shop without knowing prices, right? So both of those reasons would apply. So again, at minimum, start to use data-driven approaches, start to use the understanding that you get from looking at prices, looking at the market, understanding what's true, and at least let those influence how you choose to bet what you bet in your traditional way of betting. I'm not saying you have to forget everything. I'm just saying there's a lot more to learn if you happen to be one of those people. And I was one of those people. Oh, I was even worse. I used to pay 
money to touts to tell me what to play. Well, what does that do? That adds a tax on top of the bad prices I'm already getting that I'm not paying attention to because I'm paying some clown tout to tell me which side to take. And the only one who gets rich in that is the tout. Oh, so believe me, I've been where you are. Now, I happen to be a data analytics professional who've been doing this in different contexts for a very long time, much longer than I'd like to admit, frankly. But I've now realized how it applies in sports betting. And I realized there's so many people who are just like me who didn't know better, who didn't realize that this is a numbers game. This is a data game. And now once I knew that it was a data game, I'm like, oh, we got, we got to help people. We got to make this available to everyone. Not everybody's going to try. Not everybody's going to get this. Not everybody's going to even want to even think about the math. There's so many people who are like, I finished math in high school. Never going to think about math again. You know what? They're, they shouldn't be sports betting, frankly. But, you know, pay for your entertainment how you want. That's not for us to judge. But if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, at least think, how can I start to at least be aware of what things cost when I'm buying bets just like I'm doing when I'm buying a TV, right? We're going to tell you, we're going to find you the best deals and you're still going to be able to decide, do I want to play this or not? But at least recognize that there's this whole world that you may have been closed off to that we can help you with. And so this is the first this is the first of many videos that are going to cover all these different angles. I've got some older ones on the on my YouTube channel that, you know, with different software, different tools, whatever. They're still good. The, 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 the concepts are still fine. But we're going to go and record a lot of them. We're going to show you with A-Train Station how you can really execute on these at a way really never possible before. And if you enjoy this, check out my live streams. I live stream seven days a week most of the time. You know, occasionally take a holiday off, occasionally take a, a trip or something. But for the most part, I'm, I'm live streaming every day. I just show you when I'm placing my bets and I walk through what I'm doing so that you can at least see how I'm analyzing this. And this will teach you how to analyze it yourself. You can tail some bets. You can take some of the bets and play them yourself if you want to. I show you me playing them. But I want you to be thinking, how do I start to analyze this myself when I have certain books I can play, when I'm in a certain state with certain opportunities that A-Train doesn't have, right? You'll be able to do this too with A-Train Station, right? So that's why we wanted to create the software because just following somebody else is never going to be a good use of your time. I want you to be thinking critically. I want you to say, I want to play this game. I don't just want to take bets and just you know, follow somebody or whatever. I can do this too. I can see that that's a good play. I know that that's a good play. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and play it myself, right? That is a really rewarding experience too. You can beat the books at their own game. They stack the deck against us every day. They get the hold. They limit players. They try to you know, cancel line, whatever, but we can take them on and we can win. And that through data, through data analytics, through data driven sports betting is the way we can do it. So check out my other videos. There's going to be a lot more coming. You know, stay with it. If you have questions, we have plenty of places you can reach out. Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, uh, X, YouTube. We have a Discord channel. If you go to atrainbets.com, you can find links to all of that stuff. And most of all, just be aware that this is a thing. First and foremost, be aware that this is a thing and it's worth digging into. And whether you use A-Train Station, whether you use something else, welcome to the other side. Like this is like going into the matrix, realizing what the matrix is. You can now see the truth and don't believe me. That's the wrong approach. Start thinking critically and you can start to see where there's opportunities and that will change your betting forever. Step into it. Take your time. It's a lot to learn. You can do it. So with that, everybody, thank you so much. And we will see you on the next one.